In this video, we're going to look at matrices. A matrix is just a collection of numbers that displays information in rows and columns. Now, it's important that we say the rows first and the columns. So this number one here, this is the element which is in the first row, first column. This minus three, this is the element which is in the second row, first column. So it's important that we say it that way as we will see later on. The order of a matrix just gives a shape. So this one, it's got two rows and two columns. So this would be a two by two matrix. This has got one row and three columns. It would be a one by three matrix. And this one has got three rows and two columns. It would be a three by two matrix. So it's important that we understand the order of a matrix. So equal matrices have identical corresponding elements and the translation vector is a matrix. So if you remember uh, from your translations from your normal GCSE mathematics, if you had a translation of 3, 2, what that would do would move the thing 3 to the right and it would move it 2 up. And this is a, uh, a, a matrix as well. Okay, this one it says write down a matrix whose order is 2 by 3. It doesn't specify anything else about it, so you can just do any matrix, write down any matrix at all, which has got two rows and three columns. So what I have done here from a number 1, I've just, I've just put any numbers at all in. I've just done 1, 1, 5, minus 2, 5, and 8. So there is one answer. There's an infinite number of possible answers there. Next one is five by two, which means five rows and two columns. So it's gonna it's gonna be a tall matrix. So I've done two, seven, four, four, three, one, one minus two, and then two, eight. Just extend those brackets a wee bit. And that's it. Last one. It has got it says three rows and one column. So it's a tall matrix again. So I've just done three, seven, and nine. That's it. <coughs> this example says if A equals B, so that's matrix A equals matrix B, find the value of X and Y. And what is the order of each matrix? So first of all, the order of this matrix. Uh, it is A has got two rows and it's got two columns, so it is a two by two. B is uh, two rows and two columns, so it's a two by two. So just write that in first. A is a two by two, and B is a two by two. They both have the same order, so both the same. If they had not been the same order, we could not have done this question. You can only could only possibly do this question if the, the matrices have the same order. So here we can just pair the things up. So I can just look at my first element, sorry, my first row, first column element with my first row, first column element here, and they must be the same. So I'm just going to say 2x plus y equals 1. And also I'll just look, I'm going to look at uh, this one because it looks quite nice. I have x minus y must be corresponding to 5. So x minus y equals 5. That is all you need to do. You could go on if you want and look at the other ones. There's no need. We have two equations and two unknowns, so we can solve this. So this is just solving two uh, simultaneous equations, and we're going to do this by adding them. Get rid of the y term, which will give you 3x is equal to 6. That means x is equal to 6 divided by 3, which means x is equal to 2. I'll just go over here and I'll just say sub into equation 1. So instead of writing x, I'm going to write 2. So it was 2 times 2 plus y is equal to 1, which is 4 plus y is equal to 1, which means y is equal to 1 minus 4, y is equal to minus 3. Uh, so my answer to say a n s x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 3. Okay, in the last bit for this uh, very simple we exercise is just matrix addition and subtraction. So we can only add and subtract matrices of the same order. So that's worth underlining there. So we can only or add or subtract matrices of the same order. 
So to do so, we add or subtract the corresponding elements. Very, very easy. So here, we've got two things to do. First one we want to do is do A plus B. So if you look at A plus B, adding your A, adding your first row, first column element, you're going to get 2 plus 7, which is just going to be 9. Adding your first row, second column element, 4 plus 1 is going to give you 5. Your second row, first column is going to be 3x plus minus 2x, which is just going to be x. And then 8 plus a 6 is going to be 14. And your third uh, third row, first column is going to be 6x plus 4z. We can't group those together. They are on like terms. So 6x plus 4z. And then we've got 9y plus 11y to finish us off, which we can group is 20y. And that's it. Okay, next one was B minus A. So B minus A, <coughs> we're doing this matrix, this matrix here, take away this matrix. So it's going to be uh, 7 minus 2 is 5 is our first one. Then 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Then we're going to have minus 2x minus another 3x, which is minus 5x. And then we're going to have 6 minus 8, which is minus 2. And we're going to have 4z minus 6x. That's a z, believe it or not. And Sorry, you read last. So that was, sorry, it was uh, 4z minus 6x. And the last one was 11y minus 9y, which is 2y. And that's it. Okay, it's not very clear there, but that is still got three rows and two columns. It's still a three by two. And that's it. Okay, you're now ready to do exercise. 11a and it is the just if you just work through the odds and then give us a shout if you need a hand if there's anything at all i can just put a wee video up to uh, help you through it uh, if you've done the odds no problem have a go at the evens and then look at the next video thank you